This is just a quick guide on a tool that I use to summarize code for using with a language model. Code sum, you can clone this repo. Okay, and then you'll see there is a setup.py in here, so you can just run that with Python. And it's going to ask you for your OpenAI key, so you can put that in. Okay, and then it's going to ask you which model you want to use. I'd recommend setting it to GPT-40. And if it doesn't already have an alias uh, in your shell profile, then it will add one for you, and it should support whatever platform you're on. But let me know if you have issues. Now, I'll show you here um, we have a, a folder called summary files that gets created when we run this. I'm going to remove it just to show you what it does. Okay, so we run code sum, and you would run this in uh, whatever folder contains the files that you're wanting to summarize for the language model. So you run code sum and you use the arrow keys here and select the files. So you would, so if, you, if you're trying to solve a problem, you would select the files that contain the code that needs to be changed, essentially. So I'm just gonna select a few as an example here. Hit enter when you're ready. And it says local code summary has been successfully created. If we look in here, you'll see this code summary. I don't wanna use Xcode. Uh, let me open this up and show you what it has. So this file will have a tree command, so it'll show every file in your project or every file that's a child of the folder that you ran this in, including subfolders. And then it's gonna show the full code, and it's in markdown formatting here. It's gonna show the full code of each of the files that you selected. You can see this is, you know, 609 lines of code. So that's good. And just copy it and copy the whole thing. And you can come in here and paste it. I'm using LibreChat here, uh, which is an open source chat interface. And you can see I'm talking to Anthropic Cloud 3.5, which is my favorite model right now. So you can paste in all that stuff that it just gave you into that code summary file. And I can say, how would I update this? And we're doing it on code sum itself. So we, we're, we're having it change itself. But how would I update this to default to GPT-40 model and also default to no on the compressed summary and readme question. So you can see it's still running over here and it's asking, do you want to generate a compressed summary of the selected files? And what that will do, it writes documentation for the code and explains what the code does. So you can look in here. This may be helpful if you have a lot more code. So this gives, you know, plain English description of what each file does, each part of it, etc. And then the last thing you can do is if you want to generate a readme file, you can generate a readme file and it'll overwrite the one that you currently have if you currently have one, which we do. So I'm going to say no to that. But I want to update this to use GPT-40 model by default and also default to no on those last two questions. Okay, so I've pasted in the code summary and asked my questions. And now Claude's going to give me the answer. And I can go in and make these changes that it suggests, test it, and then commit my changes. So one thing you'll want to do is you'll keep each conversation to one change. So don't come in, unless you're still working on this specific change, like there's something wrong with this code, you need to come back and you can paste in the error that you ran into. But once this task is complete, then I'd recommend starting a new chat, making a new summary, and then working on the next feature. That's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.